Welcome back everybody. So today I'm going to be doing something a wee bit different. I'm going to be doing some fan art. Uh, I do this exercise quite a lot in the art centre. Uh, there's quite a lot of people passionate about uh, sci-fi films and especially Star Wars. So seeing as it's May the 4th, May the 4th be with you, um, I'm going to be doing a Stormtrooper mask. Uh, doing it as a, quite a graphic abstract style. So just been inspired by the acrylic pores that we done last week. Right, so I've got my home studio set up again. Here we go. Just go through what the equipment I've got. So I've got my camcorder for recording the footage. The blank canvas. I'm looking a bit scrappy this one. All the corners are... Looks as if it's needing a stretch. But as I promised in episode one of the landscape, the Cornish landscape, that'll all come out as we start painting because it will actually stretch itself. Mm -hmm. I haven't got my paints ready but I've got my palette, my cup of tea. These paints here are from a local supplier, they're actually not that expensive but I've used them quite a lot in the past. Yeah, I do have my other paint sitting in my bag but I thought I would use these just to sort of show what results you can get with the cheaper paint. So there we go. My wee seat as well. Yes, so there we go. That's me all ready. I'll get started painting. First of all, what I'll do is I'll do a wee sketch. Right, so I'm just going to start off with my sketch. Finished off my sketch, quite an involved sketch this one, obviously trying to get all the geometric shapes as accurate as I can with a freehand picture. Um, so just zooming in, you can see some of the guidelines that started off, started with my plumb line right through the centre and then started to mark off with the position of the eyes, the mouth, the nose piece and then his ears pieces there as well. So. Now it's just a case of just starting to go in with the colour. Quite a fun exercise coming up, so let me just get started. So just quickly going through all my colours and my colour palette, so you can see all the reds down at the bottom there, over on the left hand side. I've got the yellows on the bottom right hand side, then blues, greens, browns, black and white, quite a generous amount of white. We've already talked about that again in one of the videos. When you're doing acrylic painting, it's always nice to have quite a lot of white. So, there we go.
So that's me done the background. So now I'm just going to start filling in the he the actual helmet itself. Just going to take a wee pause for a wee second, just having a wee look. So, over the right hand side of his helmet, I've got some reds and yellows, the warm colours coming down through into the greens, and then over across here, we've got the blues, the reds coming in again, purples, and I'll start to sort of block in all the sort of other parts as well the eyes and the, the mouth. That's been completely covered the canvas, so now it's a case of just going in and putting in some of the detail. Stick down into a really small brush as well. I will probably go down to a smaller one too, so let's get going again. Let me just go down to a smaller brush now as well. Thank you. 
Pause for a wee second, folks. Right everyone, I'm going to be stepping down to the smallest brush I'm going to use in this exercise. This is it here, just a wee pointer, so we'll start putting in more detail. second and I'm just going to have a wee look at it from a distance and then see what's going on and maybe start putting in some highlights Thank you. 
So I'm just about to put the finishing touches to my picture, just a wee quick one today, so I think it's just a case of maybe putting some stars in at the top. There we are folks, that's it finished. I'm quite happy with it, so I'll let it dry, get some photographs of it and get the video put on YouTube. So thank you very much, hope you've enjoyed. I certainly did. Quite a good fun project. So thank you anyway, and I'll see you in the next episode.